And Bloomberg recently had a story that said two thirds of the data centers now being built for AI development are in fact going into water scarce areas. It's being powered with around 35 unlicensed methane gas turbines that are pumping thousands of toxic air pollutants into the air, into that community. So this data center acceleration is not just accelerating the climate crisis, it also is accelerating the public health crisis of people's ability to access clean air as well as clean water. So one of the aspects that's really under talked about with this kind of AI development, the open AI's version of AI development, is that these data centers need fresh water to cool because if they used any other kind of water, it would erode, corrode the equipment, it would lead to bacterial growth. And so most often these data centers actually use public drinking water, because when they enter into a community, that is the infrastructure that's already laid to deliver the fresh water to companies, to businesses, to residents. And so one of the things that I highlight in my book is there are many, many communities that are already, they do not have sufficient drinking water, even for people. And I went to Montevideo, Uruguay, to speak with people about a historic level of drought that they were experiencing, where the Montevideo government literally did not have enough water to put into the public drinking water supply. So they were mixing toxic wastewater in just so people could have something come out of their taps when they opened them. And for people that were too poor to buy bottled water, that is what they were drinking. And women were having higher rates of miscarriages. Uh, elderly were having an exacerbation or an inflammation of their chronic diseases. And in the middle of that, Google proposed to build a data center that would use more drinking water. This is called possible water, right? This is a uh... potable water. And Bloomberg recently had a story that said two thirds of the data centers now being built for AI development are in fact going into water scarce areas.